What's going on? Brian Maxwell here checking in at Ford of Port Ritchie. Hope everybody's doing well. And uh, real quick in this video, what I want to talk about. First of all, let me show y'all this car. Let y'all look at something. If my screen going to flip back, it's probably not. But check this out. Check out the bullet. Look how nice that is. That's a nice car. That bullet. It's nice, huh? But anyway, what we're going to talk about in this video is really just the importance of why and how crucial it is to make sure that when you come back off a demonstration drive, that you always, always, always give your customer a tour of your service department before you sit down and start going over the numbers. And here's why. When a person initially comes in, you and I should both know that what they are after from the moment they get there is what is your best price on this particular new or pre-owned vehicle. Now, as you should know, it's our responsibility to get as much information as we can, find out what objectives they have, you know, what exactly they're looking for, what they hope to get out of it, um, what they're currently driving, what type of features and whatnot, and, you know, kind of just what's going on with them so that when we present the option, we can suit it and make it as, as customized as possible for them, for their objectives, and for their needs. And that's all fine and dandy on our end. But we know the whole time they're sitting there just waiting on the numbers, waiting on the numbers. So we go through the process and we take them out. We go on the demonstration drive. And most customers know that right after that demonstration drive, you know what comes next? The numbers. So their defenses go up. The wall goes up 10 feet tall and 3 feet wide. Now here's why the service tour and a tour of your dealership is extremely crucial. Since they are preparing for coming back off that demonstration drive and then just sitting down, and being hammered with some unbelievable numbers, they're very, their defenses are up. They're very tense. They're uptight. All of that laughing, kicking, and joking that you guys did um, all that time beforehand is going completely out the window. If you ever paid attention, they get really intense. They stare at the paper really hard, trying to make sure that they don't give off any indicators of that something is uh, uh, just no indicators at all. It's a poker face. Okay? Now, there's a thing called a pattern interrupt, and what that means is it's where we disrupt the thought patterns that an individual may have, believing that they know how the process goes, and 9 out of 10 salespeople will do the exact same thing. I even hear salespeople do what I call sales suicide, which is come back off a demo drive where they've just built the value in this vehicle, the customer loves it, and they step out the car and say something silly like, let's go back in here and see if we can make the numbers work. So now, after all of that value being built, the expert, the product specialist, it's taking the customer's mind back to the numbers when it should stay on value. We know price is always going to be there, but it's not up to us to bring it back onto the table and make it the most important um, deciding factor. Now, when you take them back in, if you hold the door open, you'll watch. They'll start walking back over to your desk area where you all were sitting at prior to going out when you did your product demonstration and your demonstration drive. So when you open that door and you let them in and you see them start walking and say, hey, folks, hold on for a second. What I want to do, I want to take you over and give you a tour of the dealership and show you our service department. Um, we do have 24-hour key drop. We do have shuttle services. As a matter of fact, we have free Wi-Fi. So if you're hanging out, you got some work you need to do on your phone, your laptop, or your, uh, or your tablet, you can do so. Also over here, as you can see, we got fresh condiments. If you'd like a hot chocolate, a coffee, a vanilla latte, or just a bottle of water, we have that available. We also have donuts, chips. And whatnot. And over here, we also have a playroom. So if you have your kids with you, they have some place that they can hang out while your vehicle's getting taken care of and you're getting the service. And as a matter of fact, today, before you leave, I can even help you set up your first service appointment. Now, and you take them and you give them a tour and you introduce them to a service advisor or you introduce them to the service manager. Now, here's why, that, why that's critical. When a person is upset and their, their defenses are up and they're on 10, and you take this individual away from what their mental pattern thought that they were going to go do they're a little discombobulated they don't quite know what's going on they're wondering what's this tour thing about because out of the other four dealerships they've been through over the years no one has ever done this and if they're really upset and bent out of shape and you're introducing them to a service advisor who's smiling who's shaking their hand or a service manager who's smiling and shaking their hand you know what they're going to do they're going to smile and shake their hand back now here's what that does you ever been upset with somebody with your kid with your child with your spouse or with a friend and they made you laugh or somebody else made you laugh. You ever notice how it's very hard to get back up to the level of anger that you were prior? It's almost impossible. 
when you make somebody smile or laugh, it's almost impossible for them to get back up to the level of anger or anxiety they were at unless something else happened. So when you do the introduction, you go do the tour under the law of reciprocity, you're giving them additional service. You're giving them additional information. And the more you give, the better it is as far as on the situation when it comes time for them to give you something like giving you their business or any additional information that you may need. Okay? So it's extremely critical now. Will the defensive wall still be up? Yeah, but as opposed to being 10 foot high, it might only be 9 foot high or 8 foot high. Will it still be 3 foot? Will it still be wide? Yeah, but instead of 3 feet wide, it might be 2 foot wide. Your objective when you come back off a demonstration drive and you give them a tour of your dealership and the service department, it's just that get that defensive wall down low enough so you can peek over in their backyard and see what's really going on and what's going to help you help them make a smart and safe buying decision. So please, is it a step? Yeah, it should be a standardized step in every process. As opposed to waiting until after the vehicle is delivered and sold and then you want to do the tour. Imagine how much more value, how much more information you're giving to your customer doing it prior. And it helps that pattern interrupt with them being in defense mode when they believe it's time to go sit down and you present them with the numbers. Watch what happens. It'll be a lot easier for you to educate when you sit down with them than it is if you don't do it at all. So I highly encourage you, make sure you do not overlook giving your customers a tour of your dealership, a tour of the service department, introducing them to a service advisor, to the service manager, prior to sitting down and going over the numbers. That's the law of reciprocity and utilizing what's called a pattern interrupt okay i hope all the videos i'm putting out you actually following um hopefully i get a lot of messages from people whose sales are going up they're holding a lot more growth and they're having a lot more fun doing it it's the little things that matter okay remember good salespeople practice what to say great ones practice what to ask all right so till the next time hopefully you rock on you're having an awesome month again i'm having a good time here at Florida poor richie be here for the week then i'll be in hilton head south carolina next week so make sure that you click the link below I got a really, really awesome training that's available. It's absolutely free. Don't cost you nothing but a few minutes of your time. Go check it out. Look at it. Use the steps. Utilize the, 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 the tips that's in there, and you'll see. It'll help take your sales up another level, help your money-making ability go up another level. So, again, Brian Maxwell, over and out. Look forward to seeing you at the dealership. All right.